Hi there and welcome to another video of gtmtraining.com with me Julian and today we want to talk about Google Analytics feature of cross-domain tracking and how to install this with Google Tag Manager. As always, these little videos are brought to you by gtmtraining.com and we have a series of live workshops that we are running online, which you can participate in for free to learn more about the feature set of Google Tag Manager. So if you want to dive in, head over to gtmtraining.com slash workshops and sign up for the next one. So cross-domain tracking is really all about how Google Analytics views when a user goes to another website, which also belongs to the same Google Analytics account. So for example, here I have three sites, the demo shop, the demo store.com and the blog.demoshop.com, which are all running with the same Google Analytics setup and are sending data to the same Google Analytics account. Now let's look up what happens when we go through and click on these links to go to another website. And we'll monitor while doing this with the GA debugger, which needs to be enabled in your tag assistant in order to see data coming through in the, the developer JavaScript console. So this you can find under view developer and JavaScript console in your Chrome browser. And it will give us useful information about what data is being received by Google Analytics. At this point, I want to call special attention to the client ID, which at this point is 1571. So once we click over to the blog, the client ID stays the same. We have no problem here between a domain and its subdomain. So really there's no use for cross-domain trapping between a domain and a subdomain. Google Analytics is handling this just fine. Let's go back and let's click on our demo store, which also sends data to our Google Analytics account, but is a completely different domain. And here we see under the client ID that it's actually changed, which is bad because in our Google Analytics, this will be seen as a new user. And following that, there will also be a new session generated. So your session count will actually go up, although we are still the same user. So for this case, cross-domain tracking would be useful. How would we implement this with Google Tag Manager? It's actually pretty easy. Let's go over to Google Tag Manager. Under tags, you probably have already a normal page view tracking tag for Google Analytics. And once we click on it, we want to just change some of the configurations. And the configurations that we want to change are found under more settings in the configure tab under number three. The first option that we want to change is the field to set option. And we want to add a new field, which is the allow linker field, which you can choose here. And we want to set the value here to true. Next up, we want to add another field, which is the cookie domain field. And we have it right here, which we will set to auto. The second feature that we want to enable is the cross domain tracking feature. And there we have the auto link domain where we can simply input our domains that we want to link together. In this case, demo shop separated by a comma and demo store.com. So this is all done. Let's continue and save this tag, go into our preview and debug mode and head back to our demo shop.com. Here we go. Our tag has fired correctly. And when we look into the JavaScript console, we see that our client ID is 1571 as expected. Now what happens when we click on the demo store? First, when we click Google Tag Manager automatically appends a parameter with our client ID to the link. And this tells our Google Analytics tracker to pick this actually up 
and position it into our client ID. So the session is correctly continued and we can now track this page and the movement forward with no problem. So these two functionalities that we installed, allow linker and the auto link domains, actually look through the links that we have on a page and link them together. So once we go on a link on this demo store.com back to our demo shop, which I have down here, it also sends over again our client ID information. And when we go to a blog, we also have the client ID information because we changed the domain again. So now the user can skip between domains that belong to one Google Analytics account without losing their session and therefore staying in the eyes of Google Analytics as one user. To spin this to the end, you would obviously publish this as a version to all your users. So cross domain tracking is now enabled for these three domains and all your users that visit the website. And that's already it with this week's video of gtmtraining.com. I hope you know now how to use cross domain tracking functionality within Google Tag Manager. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel or give us a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you want to find out more about Google Tag Manager, please feel free to join us in one of our live workshops at gtmtraining.com slash workshops. I'm Julian, till next time. So now let's get started with scroll tracking within GTM. And in order to, and what we'll do in this little tutorial is implement a custom HTML tag, which will basically act as our event listener in Google Tag Manager. And when somebody's, but now let's get started talking about bounce rate. So the bounce rate is often seen as this metric to evaluate landing pages. So does the traffic that hits my page actually stick around or leave the page? There's actually a little bit of a problem here with the bounce rate because the way that is defined in Google Analytics. Let's have a look. So bounce in.